How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with yet another review. A little bit of Hop Butcher for the world. Hopeful oh, goodness, in the form of their a wintry mix, Imperial Brown Ale. Um, this is from February 27th. Um, what's today's date? Today is May 8th. So, you know, a bit over, what's that, one, two, three, oh, three months? Has it been that long? Oh, shit, son. Not three months, so about two and a half months old. And I'm kind of excited to give it a whirl because it's an Imperial Brown Ale. Most of the stuff I get from Hop Butcher is Hop Forward stuff, although they do throw out a couple twists and stuff like that from time to time. But yeah, and it doesn't come from Hop Butcher. It comes from Chuck. Thank you very much, brother. Um, he is an Illinois-based viewer who tosses a box at me every now and then, and I appreciate it, dude. Um, it's kind of cool to kind of dive into something like this, especially not from Hop Butcher sending it off. Not that I don't think they would play this game, but... Um, uh, you know, most breweries want to send you the best of what they do. So it's cool to get beers that they didn't send me, assuming, you know, maybe wasn't their favorite beer of the bunch. I don't know. Uh, Pinky Finger. Um, kind of like iced tea looking body. Just from body to head to whole nine. It looks like a really dark, kind of mixed kind of iced tea. I did that. And artwork, it's cool. It's got an igloo on it. It's coolly drawn because Dan Jetson did it. And I dig his artwork. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, rich iced tea like head and body. Poured a little bit too much in there. Let's get a nose. It's nice, man. It's got this really rich kind of uh, chocolate cocoa with a dab of caramel kind of going on. And it has this richness to it. Something beyond just a regular brown ale. So that imperial ale, uh, imperial brown comes through because it's not like a barley wine. Um, but it's not like a just a base brown ale. It just has a richness to it. A little bit of toffee, almost English vibes to it. And there is the ever so slightest bit of like soft, very soft, gentle kind of tannic kind of bittering to it. So there is a little bit of bittering to it, a little bit of hops vibes going on. But at the same time, it is malty through and through. It's a malty beer. It's a rich beer. It smells like a decadent beer. Let's give it a tasty poo. Cheers. That's nice. Um, you know, it comes off a bit thin, a little bit thinner than I would love it to be. Talking about Imperial Brown Ale, I want to start eking towards um, kind of barley wine world, but not get there. Um, but I still want a little bit more kind of dense, um, thick, rich body. Not, you know, five C's, maybe two C's full of thick. That caramel, brown sugar, kind of chocolate thing that I was talking about. Um, that little bit of cocoa vibe I was talking about is definitely there. A little bit the wateriness kind of dumbs it down a little bit. It doesn't dumb it down, but it kind of makes you not think of, about it being that rich. But there's this cool little spicy component, a little bit bigger. Almost reminds me of a watered-down blackstrap molasses kind of in there. So you get a tannic kind of hot vibes in there, a little bit of nice bitterness, maybe coming a little bit from the roasted malts because I'm assuming they used some in here in combination with the hops. And I like it. It's more of a winter warmer-ish kind of beer to me um, than anything else without an overt amount of spices. But it's fun. Just comes off a little bit thin, a little bit less impactful than I'd want 9% to be. I talk about it on here. They do tasting notes on the back, by the way. On the back, they talk about rich caramel, toasted cracker, and sweet or dark fruit. Now, you talk about sweet dark fruit. That is your kind of toffee, carrot, a pruny kind of um, barley wine, English barley wine thing. And that's where I was talking about it on the nose, giving me those kind of vibes. So it, I can get that. Even though I didn't talk about it before there, I, after reading it and, and and beforehand, even when I talked about the kind of English ale kind of vibe, you can kind of get that in there. A little soft datey kind of vibes. So it's nice. It's an Imperial brown ale. Listen, on the grand scheme of things, on the scale of what's going to really kind of wow and freak people out, Outside of the uber nerd who gets down on these super kind of old school styles, it's not necessarily the most kind of wow kind of style, but it's fun. I dig it. I get down on brown ale, so it works for me. I like it. I think it's fun. Well made. I just want a little body in the, a bump in the body, hot butcher. Give that. Give me a little bit more body. If this was, let's say, lager as like a doppelbach. Keep the same kind of essence to it, same bill, same everything, but just maybe lager it, dopple it. I think this might be one of the best doppel bucks I ever had, so I think you should do that. Let's make a doppelbock version of this hot butcher. Nice, nice 9% doppelbock. Yeah, let's do it. Um, but yeah, I like it. I think it's fun. 
It's tasty. Done and done. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better Imperial Brown Ales I've had as of late? It would default close to one because I can count how many I've had on this hand over here over the past year. But in the grand scheme, is it one of the better darker beers, sub 10%. It's, you know, it's eking into the conversation. It's not definitely not towards the top, but it's it's striking enough chords for me to kind of let it in a door. Value and availability, no idea. Top Butcher, their stuff sees market, but it goes pretty quick and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like, um, if you like them, brown ales but you want to imperialize or if you like barley wines but you want something a bit lighter it kind of fits that mold it does give you those rich kind of um nice kind of uh, uh barley wine-esque vibes without getting too heavy so if that's your jam this might be your jam too so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting stuff and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you're enjoying a nice little hot butcher jam right now and hopefully see you next time Cheers.